Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So let's just first address as to why I haven't uploaded a video since Tuesday. I just graduated from grad school about a month ago and just accepted a neurophysiologist position. So it's been a lot of learning, just it's been a stressful week. So I will get there, I promise, and I'll get the videos up that I want to get up for you guys. Uh, somebody did request that I do a lighter, um, more colorful look and I promise you that's coming. I needed to find some inspiration because I am like full on ready for fall now. Dark vampy colors. It's just my thing. I love everything about fall. So today's video is going to be a first impression on the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Pro Filter Foundation and this just launched today. So if you guys are interested in hearing about my first impression on this product right here then just keep on watching. Okay, so I just zoomed you on in so you could see me apply it. I have been loving this primer lately and it's drugstore and I honestly didn't think I'd like it very much. It's like $5, but it's the Rimmel Fix and Perfect Primer. I don't want to go in and try out a new primer today because I just want to, I know I already like this one. Excuse my eyes that they look a little crazy right now. It's because um, I don't have any other makeup on, but I like to do my eyes first. So I just threw them on and I promise you by the end we will look a little bit more put together. Okay, so it comes in a box that looks like this. It says Fenty Beauty by Rihanna Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation and there is 1.08 fluid ounces. I'm going to read you the English part of what's on the side of the box and it says medium to full coverage for all, long wear, light as air. And I'm in the shade, Sephora color matched me today, and I'm in the shade 150. We'll see how that works out. Sometimes when they color match me, it doesn't always go well. So this is what the bottle looks like, and I think that it's really nice. And there is a pump, thank goodness. This retails at $34, which isn't bad. I think that that's very affordable. So let's just pump this on the back of my hand and I'm going to apply one half of my face with my beauty blender well with my L'Oreal sponge because I've been loving my L'Oreal sponge and then the other half of my face with the Morphe M439 because that's my two favorite ways to apply foundation. I'm a little concerned about this shade. It looks a little light like a lot light. So let's just first go in with the L'Oreal sponge. We'll see if we can make it work when we bronze up our face, but it really is super light. It's like a never win with me. Every time I get color matched, it's the shade is so off, but it's actually looking really nice on the skin. And then I'm going to go and apply the other half with my M439. I definitely like the Beauty Blender better, but I'm not really loving this actually. I'm going to try and build up coverage right here because the brush did not give me as much coverage. So far I'm not impressed with it. I know that the shade is too light on me. I'm not holding that against the foundation, but I just am not loving the finish of it. I'm just not loving the coverage. Um, I'm just not loving it at all. I feel like you can see it on my skin and it's not like I feel like it's emphasizing my texture. I'm gonna go off camera and apply the rest of my face and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I finally got the rest of my face applied and I actually really started to enjoy the way the foundation was looking once I got to be able to bronze my face and put some blush on and just kind of like finished my face off. I feel like the products applied really nicely over it. I'm not going to say I hate it. I know as I was putting it on, I was like, oh my gosh, this is terrible. The color's too light. It looks like this. It looks like that. But all in all, I actually really like the way that things applied over it and the way that my skin looks now. I can definitely do a follow-up video on how I thought the foundation wore. Did it break up? Did it get oily? I do think that this foundation is medium to full coverage. I think she's right when she says that. If you apply one layer, it's definitely a more medium coverage, but you can definitely build that up like I did right here on my cheeks. So I agree with that. Um, I thought that it was accentuating my texture, but now I actually think my skin looks really nice. So we will see how it wears throughout the rest of the day. I will definitely keep you guys updated if that's something you guys want to see. Leave it in the comments below and I will do that for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also share it. Also, don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!